What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here in this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning, so come by and say hello. This video is also brought to you by two different things. Since we don't do any sponsorships here on the channel, I'll show them out real quick. The first is my music, which is available anywhere you stream music, and the second is a podcast I just launched called Chasing Infinity. It's available on my YouTube music channel. Links in the description below. I appreciate the support, guys. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the topic of today's video, which is a surprise announcement here on a Sunday of all days, but two days before the end of season. And the timing is important, which is why I'm recording this as quickly as possible and getting the video out as quickly as possible, because it does impact where you will, well, where you can benefit by not advancing as high potentially this season. So what they are doing, uh, this is Royal Eagle making the announcement here. As we approach the end of the season, we want to give you a heads up about an exciting change. So during this Tuesday's maintenance window, we will introduce loot chests for league tier advantage. Advancements. So you will receive loot chest only on your first advancement, right, uh, to, to a tier within the season. For example, if you rank up from Bronze 3 to Bronze 2, you'll receive five loot chests. However, if you fall back and then go up again into Bronze 2, you, you won't get another set of chests. It's just for the first time that you cross as a little bit of a prize. Now, they, they're sharing the breakdown of this, and you can see here in Bronze, you only get minor chests, right? Those are the, the smallest and cheapest ones. So three, three, five in Bronze 3, Bronze 2 and bronze one respectively once you get into silver you start getting some major chests you get more bronze chests but uh, you also get some major chests which is kind of like the mid tier uh, so one two and three respectively there for silver three two and one and then in gold it remains the same but you're just increasing the amount of chests uh, going all the way up to nine minor and six major in gold one and then diamond is where it gets fun because you start to get some of these ultimate chests so starting in diamond three you get one ultimate chest in addition to increased you know minor and major chest and the the highest that this goes is 15 minor chest 15 major chest and six ultimate chests if you are able to make it into champion one and we know with the way that ratings inflation work now a lot of people end up making it into not just uh, champion itself, but obviously champion one. Uh, those ratings are sh shooting super high. So this will create, in my opinion, a little bit of card inflation because for the most part, these reward chests are probably going to give out things, you know, well, again, I think, uh, I, don't, I don't know what the percentage of cards are for ultimate chests and, and beyond, but um, let's, let's just put it this way. Energy is going to get used, so there will be a little bit of energy inflation there. There will be card inflation as well. Merits, I'm not too worried about. Merit inflation because that truly is soulbound. And then potions aren't really a big deal either. But... It is, you know, it is going to be something that impacts the amount of games that people will be able to play, especially at the higher leagues when you start getting these ultimate chests, right? If you're getting 11, uh, well, I was just going to look at this. So four or five, uh, what's the math here? 15 additional ultimate chests, right? Which are relatively expensive if you're going to spend glint on them. But now you're just going to get them for free if you start from, from anywhere in diamond, right? And work your way all the way up to, uh, to champion one. So I guess the good thing is that top tier players who end the season in champion are only going to drop down, drop down to champion three. So we're only looking like at 11, you know, ultimate chest inflation per player at that level. Ultimately, I, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. But once again, we're going to get into a situation where if players start getting cards, especially these higher level players start getting cards that they don't need anymore. And so therefore, they're not really spending their glint on these reward cards. Um, those cards may end up on the market if they decide to unlock them. They may decide to just burn them for more glint, which is another option because they're then able to turn around and take that glint and spend it on more chest or probably energy, right? Which is the biggest thing that I've been focused on lately, glint for energy. So there will be a little bit of inflation there, whether it's for cards or whether those cards eventually get burned and turned into uh, you know glint for, for energy or something else. But ultimately, I'm not even worried about this from a higher level perspective. I think this probably plays in very nicely with the lower player or the, the we'll go like starter player perspective. After you achieve something, rather than just getting a screen that tells you, hey, good job, like you've made it from bronze three to bronze two, you get some chests to open up, which is kind of fun. Actually, you get three chests in bronze three. So the moment you make it out of novice, boom, you get that addictive play, uh, the, uh, the, the addictive like kind of gambling factor of like, let me open the chest and see what I get in there. Oh, I got my first reward card or I got a potion or I got something, right? That's going to be uh, crucial, I believe, for the players who are starting out in bronze. So yes, it gets better. It scales up higher that we do uh, probably will have some kind of inflation uh, uh, across glint, uh, cards, and energy for those in diamond and champion 
but I think ultimately it is something that is nice to be able to introduce at the lower level. So all in all, good job to the team. I mean, this is something that I don't think anybody was really thinking about, but now that it's here, I can understand its value, especially at the lower levels. And of course, trying to make it so that it is valuable at the higher levels. But you know, we're, we're in a position now where even though I complain about, you know, inflation for cards, inflation for energy, inflation for glint, we are, you know, we're, we're not seeing like truly, truly negative impacts, at least not, not yet. Right. Um, I, I think once we get into a situation where any of this becomes like really exploitable, then we can talk about that. But this is not, I mean, again, it's, it's a limited amount of chests. It's a limited amount of players. And let's be honest, if we get more and more players coming in that are going and opening up chests in diamond and champion, because they actually are buying the cards and, or renting the cards and renting the SPS to achieve those levels, that's not a bad thing, right? That's not a bad thing overall. So I, I don't, I don't want to be an alarmist here. I, I do think it adds a little bit to the inflation, but ultimately it ends up being a very positive thing and a positive experience for all of the new players that could potentially come into the game over the next couple of months. But that is all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.